What a beautiful day! <laughs> it's all like Ken Dodd then, didn't it? Yes, I'm outside Denby Castle, out on another walk. The smell of this grass, I tell you, if it was smell of vision it's just recently been cut. Absolutely beautiful smell. But, uh, yeah, beautiful day. Oh, the smell of that grass. It's Denby Quarry. Uh, yeah. And I'm out and about. And I'm going to film it. <laughs> um, I'm heading towards Llanrider. Oh, Llanrider. Uh, my call in to the Bryn Morfydd. You never know. <laughs> you never know your luck. Anyway, I'm just heading out into the Gwynye. And yes, I know, I know. Starting at Denby Castle, but it's where I normally, well, not normally, but where I start a lot of my walks, where I park up, park up in the castle. And then you've just got your, your choice, you can do whatever you want. So I'm heading into the Gwynye. Wildlife in this place. Such, well, such a small wood, it's not very big, but it's absolutely teeming with wildlife. And it's a lovely day too. Anyway, I'll see you in a minute. Could listen to that all day. Smell in this place too. I think it's elderflower. Um, I used to make elderflower wine. That's going back a few years. It's lovely, uh, really strong smell. It's not, well, there is there. There's loads of it here. Really powerful smell. So yeah, anyway, I'm in the Guinea. And, like I say, heading towards San Raida. Um, and I'll be passing a certain building in a few moments. Am I going to film it? Probably. Am I going to mention it? Probably. <laughs> no, I don't think I will film it. I don't think I'll mention it. But then again, I probably will. So anyway, I'll speak to you in a minute. I'm in the Gwynia, just because I don't mention it. Goblin Towers down there. Not that I talk about that, but... Anyway, let's keep going. Back in day. And like I say, I'll be passing a certain building in a few minutes. Not that I ever talk about that place either. Okay, okay, I know, I know. Well, I did say I might film it. I just passed someone now, walking the dog, and they looked at me and said, Denby Vids! <laughs> but he didn't stop for a chat. I'll show you two I got asked last night, I think it was, about the de uh, mental loop. Uh, someone said, oh, when you're going down the cinder track, which is haunted, by the way, not that I ever talk about that place, um, where'd you go on the mental loop from there? Well, the cinder track has nothing to do with the mental loop. Um, but I'll show you. Well, I will be passing. Switch your camera on, outside the mental, and a car will pass. Guaranteed. Yeah, I'll show you uh, where the start of the mental loop. I'm not going on the mental loop today. I'm headed towards San Rider. Anyway, that's the mental there, just in case I've never mentioned it or filmed it before. And, uh, yeah, I'll show you the start of the mental loop and where it where you end up as well. I have covered it, actually. That's the nurse's home, just in case I never mentioned it. And that's the mental, just in case I never mentioned it or filmed it before. I don't think I have, actually. I don't think I've ever filmed the mental before. First time I've seen it. Anyway, <laughs> I'll get back to you in a minute. I'll show you the cinder track first. Well, that's the mental, by the way. I can't believe that. I've just passed the front gate of the mental and not filmed it. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, so anyway, I've passed the front gates and I've not filmed them. 
them tablets are bloody good things, they're working. So anyway, I'm about to uh, pass the cinder track, which is haunted, just in case I've never mentioned it. On my right is the cinder track. Haunted, by the way. But I'm going straight on. Like I said earlier, the cinder track is nothing to do with the mental loop. That house in the distance there, that's where you pass on the mental loop and it goes way up around there. And it is, well, it is a loop, sort of a loop. That's why it's called the mental loop and it's right behind the mental. But I'll show you the start of it. But I'm not doing the loop today, I'm heading straight towards Fandhreider. Like I say, I might go to the Bryn Mawr Vith, but you never know. God knows where I might end up. Anyway, keep going. Okay, further down the road, just over this bridge, on my right here, is the start of the mental loop. Well, I say start, it just depends which way around you, you do it. And then it goes up there, either that's the anti-clockwise and it ends or starts again as I say at the top of the 15% hill but it climbs just uh, about half a mile it's not very long probably a couple of miles something like that but it climbs quite high you get a cracking view which I have filmed before of the mental and the castle beautiful view so anyway I'll be going straight on now up this 15% climb Onwards and upwards, literally. As you can see, I'm at the uh, crossroads and Llanrider, well, it goes through the Glen first, half a mile, and Llanrider, one and a half miles, which is up there. That's the top of the 15%. It's back down to Denby. So I'm heading that away. Straight for Llanrider. And I might do the Bryn Mawr you never know. North Wales at its finest. It's the Clu Thank you. It's the Cluedin Range overlooking the Vale of Cluid. With the added smell of cow shit. If it's not elderflowers, it's cow shit. Oh, I can't beat it. <laughs> or sheep shit, or one of the two. Anyway, that's the. Uh, well, you can't see it now. I was just going to say the glens in front of me. I'll be passing through that very shortly. It's only about half a mile. Beautiful day. Yeah, that's the Vale of Cluid. And I'll get back to you when I'm passing through the Glen. I might turn off, you never know. There's different ways you can go, you can get to Slunrider. Beautiful smell. Smells of the countryside. Cow shit and sheep shit. Can't beat it. So another look at the Cluidians. Moyle Vamai. Moving across Moyle Arthur. Penaclothii. And Moyle Park. Looking back, you can see, uh, well, see Denby Castle, if I can get it in shot, and the quarry. Like I say, that's where I've walked from today, it's where I've parked up. So you can see I'm a few miles out. Got a few miles to go. I might turn off in the Glen and head up, so I end up at the top end of Flanrider where the Bryn Morvid is. If I go straight on, I'll be in, actually in Flanrider, then I'll have to you know, climb, so I might do it that way. Go round Brimorvid and then drop down into Sunride and then back on this road, so... Anyway, keep going. Well, this is the Glen. Blink and you miss it. I'll be turning off here, I think, like I said earlier, and head up to the top end of Sunride. Anyway, this is the Glen. Well, there's the Glen. Say bye bye to the Glen, and I'm heading up this way now, up the really narrow country lanes. Only room for one car. 
not suitable for wagons or anything like that. I'll be coming to a junction and I'll be turning left very shortly. Okay, I'll be uh, turning left now, going up there. Um, as you can see, it's not signed. It says Prion up there, up that road. Prion Glen, which I've just come from now. Planrider. You can see there, Denby and Dimbich. See Denby, they've sprayed it out. That's what all people do. They go around these country lanes, and anything written in English, they spray out. See, they've left Dimbich. And they sprayed out Denby, because you've got the Glen. Uh, Llanrider, Prion, they're all Welsh names, but crazy, isn't it? So anyway, I'm heading up there. And if you don't know <coughs> the roads of the area, you could get lost very easily in these country lanes, because like I say, it's not signed. But it does head towards Llanrider, the top end of Llanrider, which I'm, which I, which, where I want to be. The top end, which is the Brimorid. Something has died too, that's another smell you get probably a dead sheep or something like that absolutely stinks that's another smell you get in the, the north wales countryside dead sheep sheep shit cow shit <laughs> gives you an appetite anyway keep going and these lanes now are getting really narrow but they're not used very much Right, in front of me there is Coid Mawr. Um, I've got a choice. I can either follow the road down into Llanrider, which is just by that hedge there, which runs down that way, or I could cut through Coid Mawr itself. Can't decide which way to go. I'll go down the main road, I think. Or shall I? Yeah, go down the main road. I think it's a bit quicker. Well, no, actually, it's about the same distance, but oh, decisions you've got to make on these walks. It's terrible, isn't it? Anyway, I'll decide when I get to the junction. And from here, just make out the quarry there. That's about all you can see. Well, you can see a few of the houses of Denby, lower Denby there. Decided. I think I'll go through Coidmau. I'll show you where the two golf courses used to be from the Bryn Morvid. Used to have a, a nine hole and an eighteen hole. Anyway, I'm going through Coidmau instead of going down that way. Look like twins, aren't you? Identical twin sheep. Anyway, Coid Mau in front of me there. Decided to go the scenic route. It's another thing you watch now. It's sheep shit territory. Gotta watch where you put your feet. Sheep shit everywhere. Right, that's Denby Castle. That's where I've started the walk. You can see it's nice view of Denby Hall, or most of Denby from here. Castle, quarry. If I zoom out, you can see how far I've walked. The only trouble is, you can't see the metal from here. <sighs> you can't have it always, can you? Anyway, just hop over this uh, style, then I'll be heading through Coid Mound, and I'll show you the. Um, well, where the golf courses used to be, belonging to the Bryn Morvid. Anyway, another view. Cracking view from here. Anyway, let's get going.
And like I said, this is the top end of Planrida. You can just see a bit of the Planrida down the bottom there. And as you can see, I'm at the top end, which is where I want to be. Which is where the Bryn Morvid is, more or less. Straight in front of me, somewhere there, just behind them trees. Actually, you can see the roof of it there. That's the top of the Bryn Morvid. It's where I'm heading. The old derelict Bryn Morvid Hotel was once a very busy place for wedding receptions and, like I said, golf course, which I'll show you in a minute. Sounds like a pheasant. Yeah, um, I'll show you the um, where the golf and the tennis court. I'll show you that as well. I have featured these places in other videos, but I may as well do them in this video, innit? Looking over towards the Cluedians again. Um, yeah, so anyway, I'll get back to you when I've uh, reached where the golf course used to be, or courses, I should say. Beautiful day. Right, I'll show you the, uh, or where the tennis court was. You can actually see the net posts are still here. That's where the court used to be. You can see the net posts are still up. One there, and there's one over there. So, anyone for the game? Right, I'll show you now, just through here, where the uh, Bryn Morvid golf course, or the two of them I should say, nine hole and an 18 hole now, which in front of me there. It goes way back that way as well, but give you sort of an idea, it was in this area here, it's where the golf courses were. Anyone for the game? Bryn Rolvid is just behind them trees, just behind there. I'll be just heading that way, just over the stile, onto the road, country road, turning right, and I will arrive at the Bryn Morvid. If I decide to go in, it'll be on a, a separate video. So yeah, anyway, this is where Bryn Rovrid golf courses were, and of course the tennis court. Anyway, dropping down now onto the onto the road. Okay, just dropping down onto the road now. Turn right, and just about 100 yards is the Bryn Rovrid, or the gate into the front entrance of the Bryn Rovrid. Gate shot anyway. This is the uh, the road into the Brimovrid, and the sign's gone, saying that the police train in and what have you. But uh, I don't know. I've been here a few times, and there has been people inside. Not urban explorers, but the lights were on and everything. But anyway, this is the main track in or road, whatever you want to call it, into the Brimovrid. And whether I decide to go in, it will be on a separate video. Should be coming into view in a minute, there it is. There's no cars or anything here. Beautiful views looking down and towards Flanrider. This is quite high above Flanrider. 
and the veil of fluid and what have you. So yeah, anyway, this will, uh, I think I'll end the video here because all I've got to do now is walk all the way back to Denby. Um, I could drop down, well I will drop down into Thlanrider but I won't go back on the main road because it's, uh, it's boring and it's busy with traffic. I'll head back, there is another a road when I come to the Glen, when I said I turned off. If I'd have gone straight on, well that's where I will be returning. So yeah, anyway, that's the, uh, the old derelict Bryn Morvid Hotel. Cracking views. Why it closed? I don't know. I haven't looked into it really, into the history of the place of why it's shut, but it was very popular, like I said, with um, wedding receptions and stuff like that. I'll give you a quick look inside the a few broken windows here. Just looking over, look at the views. Cracking here. Yeah, it was a very popular place. I'll give you a quick look inside before I end the video. Smells very musty inside there. So yeah, anyway, that's my uh, walk from Denby Town, North Wales to the Bryn Morvid, Bryn Morvid Hotel. So, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.